Well, I'm just going to show you how you could model using a spreadsheet to look at interest rates. So I thought we'd start with the simplest and just look at um, simple interest. So I've just got numbers open here and I'm just going to add, add a table to um, my sheet one. And in this table, I just want to record how much we're going to invest. So that might be the capital, the interest, say, per annum, and let's say the interest is calculated per month. So they might be the three pieces of information that we're given, and we could just type numbers in here. So I've got $3,000, and let's say we were lucky that the interest rate was say 5%, we might like to format, so we can use the inspector, we're going to format that number as currency, and we're going to format this number as a percentage, and here we're going to put in a calculation, so that will be equal to the interest per annum divided by 12 for our 12 months, once again, we might format that as a percentage. And we've probably got way too many decimal points in there. So there's our small little table here so far that gives us how much we're investing, the interest per annum, and then the interest per month. Well, let's add a new table. And here we might store the month, the interest, and the capital that we now have. Notice we can fill a series very much the same way as we do in Excel. I'll just run this down so we've got a bit of space. And I can highlight, say, the first two of a series. And let's just go down for Oh, that should be far enough. First of all, we'll say at the beginning, we've actually got that amount of money. So let's have a look how we calculate the interest. That's equal to that times our original capital, we just have to make sure that in here there is absolute rows so that as we copy that down it won't change the other values. The value that we get in here now is equal to, we had $3,000 and we earned another $12.50 and so you can see there's our new value there. We should be able to highlight those two and drag these down. And you can see that by the end of it, we've got 3,300. Notice what's happening there. Every month we're, we're earning $12.50. In simple interest, you don't earn interest on your interest. The interest is always calculated on the original capital. And so we're simply adding $12.50 to um, the amount that we've already got in the bank each month. So it's going up by twelve fifty per month. What would that look like as a graph? Well let's see if we can draw a graph of this data. I'm just going to highlight that row there or that column there. And we'll go to charts. So we'll get a line graph here. And there's our chart. Make it a bit bigger than that. Well, I'll change that here.
and you should be able to see pretty easily that we get a nice straight graph, straight line graph for simple interest. Notice that in each month, the capital is increasing in this case by twelve dollars fifty. You could sort of start asking what if questions about here. What would happen if the interest rate changed to six percent? And you can see that by the end of the period, we've now got 3,360. You might say, what if I started with $5,000? Now I've got 5,600. You can see the graph changing, but what isn't changing is the shape of the graph. Simple interest will always give you that straight line relationship. You're not getting interest on your interest, basically.